Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Friday, May 4th. I'm James Spann. We stay warm and dry today. A few scattered showers and storms are possible tomorrow. And then back to dry weather Sunday into early next week. Let's take a look. The big trough that's been over the western states beginning to shear out and move away. Lifting well to the north of Alabama. So not much upper support with that front approaching. We are in the 50s and 60s to start the day. Look at the shoals. They're at 70 early this morning. We go back in the middle 80s in most locations today. Around the nation, coldest air back in the western states now, especially out around Denver. And the watch warning map early this morning. Things fairly quiet. Wind advisories for some of the states up north. Later today, big storms will likely develop along a surface front over the northeast United States. There's a risk of severe weather there. A marginal risk for parts of south and east Texas into Louisiana. We know tomorrow the SPC guys have introduced a marginal risk that includes parts of northwest Alabama in some of the adjacent states. And they're thinking during the peak of the daytime heating process, the air could be unstable enough for a couple of storms with gusty winds up in the air. We'll take a look at this in a minute. Then on day three, which is Sunday, a lot of green around here, but quite frankly, I think most of Alabama is going to be dry Sunday. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals a little north of here. In Alabama, there should be a sharp gradient. This is suggesting the shoals might pick up one inch. Then going on to Birmingham, only about a quarter of an inch, and then nothing for much of South Alabama. The Gulf Coast looks totally dry through much of next week. So let's take a look. Model fans, this is the 06E GFS at 1 o'clock this afternoon. You can see the trough passing well to the north of here. Down below that, a surface boundary just north and west of here. But for us, the day will be dry, partly sunny, mid-80s. Clouds will likely increase tonight. And tomorrow, the surface boundary kind of creeps in here. And again, you get the idea the better, most widespread rain should be north of us. But let's look at the high-resolution modeling here. This is the NAM at 1 o'clock tomorrow. And you can just see there's just not much here. Uh, the better coverage of storms over Tennessee will go to 4 o'clock. And again, you can see there could be a few storms rumbling about, but they'll be pretty scattered and pretty random. The radar is not going to look exactly like that, but probably something close. But you get the idea if you got something planned outdoors, a decent part of the day should be dry. If you're over the southern half of the state, no rain at all. And even North Alabama, the sun out at times. We'll say a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Now, this is the instability tomorrow afternoon at 3. And uh, numbers have come up a little bit. This is suggesting the instability values could exceed 2,000 joules per kilogram. And that's the main reason the SPC guys have stuck in that marginal risk. There's hardly any good, really dynamic forcing. So there's no tornado threat, uh, maybe a storm with gusty winds. And that's about it. So we'll keep an eye on things. But again, we stress it's not what I'd call a rainy day at all. And then Sunday looks pretty good. Uh, partly sunny. The high will be around 80. And the chance of rain is so small, we're not going to mention that. We'll go to Monday. And again, you're going to see the GFS putting a little bit of green down there. But with ridging aloft and dry air, we'll leave it dry. The highs will be around 80. Uh, same thing on Tuesday. And the same thing Wednesday. Low 80s are likely. Go to Thursday. We will bring in the chance of maybe a few scattered showers for the northern part of the state toward the end of the week as the moisture deepens. And a week from today, Friday the 11th, a zonal flow, no big you know, trough coming in, but maybe enough moisture for a few scattered showers. And highs out there toward the end of next week, probably low to mid-80s. Go out there 10 days. This is Sunday the 13th, big trough in the west. And down below that, a surface front trying to push in maybe a few showers for the north. But you can see things really look pretty quiet here through mid-month. Check out these numbers. This might be a little too warm, but it could be close. And if this is right, the GFS Ensemble suggesting we might hit 90 for the first time this season out there in seven days or so. 
That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.